Right, let's have a look at this RP25A. Um, as I film this, I've only just posted the first video, so I'm going straight in uh, and trying to fault find. In fact, just to show you, there's my video uploading at the moment, so 37% uploaded. Now, my suspicion is on the earphone socket, which is just here. So I've got the set um, switched to VHF because I'm sure the local oscillator on medium and long wave isn't working. Um, that's probably a separate issue. Um, I'm pretty sure that the fact that there's no hiss at all through that amp would mean that the earphone socket is jammed up um, or just open so it isn't it isn't actually doing anything it's just shutting off the speaker because there should be some slight hiss there but there's absolutely nothing so that was sort of my first idea and suspicion so let's just prod these contacts There we go. Part of the compass because that's. There we go. Do it on my finger. Tell us so much. It can really it further research. There. Give wire and pitch standards and yep. all sorts of yep. things. What what it's constant. So I'm holding one of the solder connectors. It's a combination of uh, a part here. And Wire that he's using is giving us the right kind of result. If I what he's doing with this there you go. is that he's making the thicker diameter so that of the wire softer. There, stopped. No hiss at all. So the scale is foreshortened in the base and yeah. put on heavier strings. The amp's so still not putting out. Or it's not, you know, as loud as it should be. I think I've also got a problem with the volume control, which we might need cleaning. But that's the start, isn't it? So, just switch it off. So that's why there was no hiss from the amp. That was all dirty. The earphone socket. The more and more I dig into this set, the more problems it seems to have. Uh, we've resolved the issue with there being no sound coming out the speaker uh, or nothing being passed on from the amplifier. Uh, and that was of course the headphone socket. We've got another issue, the local oscillator doesn't work at all. I've thoroughly cleaned the three wave band switches. That hasn't helped, I'm getting absolutely nothing on there. Um, another issue is that there's no HT uh, onto the AM board when switched to medium wave or long wave or in fact anything wave. There's a little test point here just above capacitor C21. Um, it's marked HT on the board and I should be picking up some sort of voltage on it and I'm getting absolutely nothing. Um, I've also tested around any uh, resistor leads which of course should you should see some voltage on those. Uh, absolutely nothing. So clearly there's no voltage on the AM board or the, the AMIF board here. Uh, the most pressing problem is the volume control. Let me show you if you need to keep your ears open for this. So you get a thump from the amplifier but then see how it doesn't seem to be seem to be working very well at all. It's not unknown for uh, for these hacker radios to have dodgy volume controls. Um, I do have a spare pot here. Um, unfortunately it's got a very short shaft to it. Um, I'm not even sure if it works properly but so we're gonna have to take the shaft out of this one if we can and put it in there uh, see if the track still works in this one. If not, I'm going to need to buy a new uh, 47k switch pot from RS, I believe, do them. I think I've got one in one, one of my boxes down here, but it might be a 4.7k. Um, 
So that's where we are at the moment. Um, I think I'm definitely going to need to replace that volume pot before we do anything, otherwise we're not going to be able to test it properly. Um, so that's where we are at the moment. Um, I've now got to try and remove these knobs and everything and take it to bits even further. But um, an interesting problem to have, no local oscillator. Why would that be? Why is there no HT on the AM board here? Graham pointed out that the VHF switches switches on and off the you know the FM oscillator uh, and the medium wave oscillator and I'll have a look at that even though I've cleaned thoroughly cleaned this VHF switch. So yeah, thanks for all your comments. Um, I know one person was dead right, uh, Racing Demon, with his um, uh, mention of the uh, headphone socket or earphone socket. So uh, well done for that. Um, that's exactly what I thought it was. Um, so yeah, more to come.